It's like your magic, just walking through everything. Good morning folks, welcome back to another episode of A Dairyman's Diary and welcome back along to Meadow Grove. My name is Frank, as always your humble host. We're doing something a little bit different this morning. Um, we're actually, to begin with, we're on the in-ramp of the uh, of the local store here and we're heading out. So what we need to do first off is just jump back in and uh, we need to reverse and go back out the proper way. Um, we are hauling some... Or carting some uh, compost today. Now, you may recall uh, at the end of the last episode, I believe it was, the way it all panned out. Um, we we went to have a look at the chain harrow that we purchased off of a friend of ours. Uh, it was lying in his hedgerow, didn't really want it, so it made good sense for us. Uh, however, in the bargaining process, I think you can call it that, um, he negotiated in that. Uh, I got it for about £500 and a couple of loads of compost. He was buying the compost, I just had the car to throw it down. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. So we're going to head our way back across. Uh, shouldn't take us too long, all being well, um, but we'll see. But what we do need to do, we're going to shoot up this hill. Uh, in the mighty John Deere. I've already taken one load across there, so he's got about 20 turn all in. Uh, we're tipping it on that hard pad of his, uh, which is what we're doing today. Uh, as you can see behind me, uh, this is making the uh, making the John Deere growing a little bit, but it's getting there. It's really struggling up the hill. But yeah, so we've got this to tip off, and then we've got some very exciting news to go and look into. Our well, essentially, our dairy is complete. Uh, the upgrades are done, the build is finished and kind of cleared out yesterday, which is fantastic news. And boy, is it exciting. Heavens above, it looks it's look like something out of Star Trek. It's that futuristic. So I can't wait to show you all of that. But for now, we're just going to keep trundling up the hill here. Uh, it's getting warmer. We are still stuck in the middle of summer here. We're not too far away from being able to start some harvest actually um, So I look forward to getting into that as you can see our crops have turned are starting to turn yellow some of them Including this one actually is really kicking on quite nicely. So hopefully we can get to that shortly uh, But we shouldn't be too far away all being well Yeah, we're good to go lovely And so we are heading down there somewhere effectively uh, in the corner, but it shouldn't take us too long We'll run this load down uh, Tip this out there. I think he only wanted 20 ton. It's not a big fuel He's got there. He's gonna be mixed in with some manure at some point when you get sun to spread that uh, So that should work a treat but Yeah, it's just nice to actually get the John Deere out here. We'll be carting grain with this shortly uh, We need to get the other trailer up to the yard as well at some point um, So we can run two of these but uh, other than that, yeah, it doesn't really get to do a great deal of road work. Elsewhere this morning, we fed up the cattle. We've taken away the uh, milk. Uh, did that in the voucher, and the voucher's still hooked up to the, the milk tanker. But that went very well. And uh, yeah, it's nice to see a yard that's complete and the, without the builders now, to be honest. It's a great, great up, uh, improvement. Uh, we'll just take it nice and slowly down here. I want to try and keep control of that speed because with this weight on the back it'll start to really dictate how the tractor handles and that's when you start to get into some trouble. Excellent stuff, around we go. So what I'll probably do again is slip around here. Oh, I took that one a bit wider. Um, into the corner we go. Oh, there we are. That's about it. And we'll 
will just pull us forward a little bit. That's excellent. At this stage, we're going to jump out as well. Just make sure this is the last load, as I mentioned there. So we need to make sure that there's no muck on the the back of the trailer, really. That will jump out into the road. But yeah, there we go. It's about 20 tons or so, give or take. Um, looks pretty good. I think he's going to put it onto here, actually. Uh, like I said, not a very particularly big field there, but it'll be enough, I'm sure. Um, but other than that, everything is looking good. We'll get this lowered down. Look at my John Deere, though. Doesn't that just look fantastic? Absolutely wonderful. Anyway, can't sit around all day. Uh, we've got a new yard to go and show off. And onwards we go. Like I say, it is a beautiful morning here. Um, all being well, uh, everything is good at the moment. Our hay ground isn't anywhere near ready to cut again. Um, the, the spring barley probably needs another two, three days. Measured it this morning now. It's coming in about 26, 27%, which is still way too high. Um, even for someone like me who's selling it just straight off the animal feed. But, uh, you know, it's uh, we need to wait for that to get to at least... Well, at most, like 19%, I should think, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, other than that, the yard is finished, everything is looking delightful. Uh, I'm very excited to have that finished. Next step is still the house. Uh, a few little small changes with the house, nothing visible to see yet. There's some structural work being do it, done to it, the pointing work and things like that. Uh, so we'll see how that continues to grow. Um, but yeah, we're, we're making some progress there as well, to be honest. It shouldn't be too long until the groundwork is completed on the house, which means it'll be connected up to the uh, sewerage mains and the electricity main. And when that's done, then yeah, it's kind of a case of everything is lined up ready to go. Um, but with that being said, that's a bit of a slow burn. There's le I'm, I have less I can do to uh, like affect how that works. And up we go. We might actually have also got the trailer on the back as well. Uh, before we wash it out, we might just cart a load of muck away, I think, today, just to empty out the cattle shed. Uh, be good just to get that done. Then we don't need to worry about it again, and we can get the trailer cleaned up for some grain harvest. As we rumble back through the village here, uh, shouldn't take us too long. We're, we're just around the corner from the yard there, so we'll catch back up when we get in the yard, and we'll, well, I'll take you on the final tour. As you can see here, the grass is really starting to come through again. It's getting some good growth to it. So the second cut really shouldn't be too far away. I'm undecided what to do with the second cut. We might do a bit of baling and a bit of a bit of hay and a bit of sil wrapped silage. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but either way, we'll, well, let's kick the John Deere around here for now. Now we're going to base it back up. We will need to get the JCB out of there, obviously. Leave a little bit of space just to get the John Deere past. I'll get the JCB past the John Deere rather. We'll leave it like that for now. We'll kick it back out later. Okay, so as I stop the tractor here, <coughs> let's go and have a look see. So as you can see, we've also finished up the last of the round bale silage, so that's all come to an end here. Well, all of last year's has at least. And the main thing you'll see as well, if you look at our finances, our money has dropped down significantly. Um, that is because the final instalment was paid up uh, just yesterday. So the final instalment for the shed contractors for the construction is all but done. Uh, and there were a few little twists in the tail, a few little final things that we had to change around. This is our completed storage shed. The bricky came in and finished off these two panels, um, so they're looking all good. But And you'll see we, we left the rest of it open, but put these kind of wind breaks on there just to keep it a bit, uh, make it a little bit quieter. We need to fasten up that end still there, actually, that's still to be done. But that's no big deal, and the roof really didn't take too long to finish. And to be honest, for an old second-hand shed, this has worked out fantastically well. It's not brand new, and you can tell by the state of it, but it was it saved us a little bit of money. And we saved even more money by putting these sheets on here, as opposed to blocking it all up there as well. Which was great for us. And we needed to save money, because, well, this cost an awful lot of money. Um, I'm going to come into here first. There's a bit of a change around. We, when we got the... Uh, when we got the... 
the astronauts in, we realized we had a bit of a problem. So we had changed the, the layout around. This wall was knocked through uh, and was extended down onto the bottom here. And the reason we did that was so we have a one like a, a, a one flow system really, one way flow. So when I open this up, when the cattle come in here in the morning, we open that gate. The gate blocks off there. Uh, this may at some point become a fence as well. It might do. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. What are you doing there? How have you got into there? It's like your magic, just walking through everything. So what should happen when when Ethel there doesn't decide to be a, uh, a nuisance? The cows come into here. Uh, there is going to be a fence coming up along here as well, just to stop them walking into this bit. Uh, a fence that we can take up, take down when we need to allow them out of here. Uh, this is where the feed will go up the side. Uh, cows come in here, they got a water trough if they want to have a drink. Uh, they have these pens here where there will be some food, some minerals if they need it, but they can just kind of hang around in there and sit down in there. They can eat here. Uh, one of the robots will be inside, or is inside here to keep this bit clean. Uh, this gate will be shut. Shut this gate like so, that's lovely. So they come in, they can hang around in here for as long as they want, but when they want to go back out for some fresh grass, they come around the corner. Here is the uh, Juno that's in, responsible for keeping all this bit tidy. Then the only way they can get out is through one of our three astronauts. Now, these things are miraculous. They have, um, all of our cattle have chips. The chips are read by the machine, they know um, if this cow is due to be milked, if it is, it will use the little milkers on the bottom here, will attach, milk the cow, open the gate at the far end, and then, I'm not going to climb through there, I'm going to walk around here, be easier for me, and then after doing that, Ethel, where are you going? Open that gate, after doing that they come out this side, and then they can go straight back out into the field, and continue their day. Just like Ethel has. And so that's it. It is all pretty much in place. These three machines here, these three Lely astronauts as they are called. This gives us the capacity at the moment to milk up to 180 cows approximately. Uh, right now we are at 135. So that works out pretty well for us. Uh, so we will look to see if we need to, I'm not sure how we'd incorporate one more, but we'll, we'll look to see about that. I'm sure it's possible some way. Um, but yeah, very impressed and very pleased with how the system is working at the moment. It's uh, it's a great time to finally have got all of these into place, so I'm very excited to see how this continues to grow. Um, but ultimately, it's a big investment. The farm's going to really benefit from this in the long term, so it's great to finally get it. We'll get the building finished, really. Uh, the, the pipes underneath have all been fitted, uh, so the slurry tank here... Uh, it drains into the slurry lagoon on the other side and the milk uh, from the astronauts goes into the milk tank so we didn't have to do too much in terms of civil work to get those two hooked up. Uh, right now though the only uh, remaining construction work for us to be concerned about is with the house which is quite a relief and we'll let we'll just kind of leave that to see how it goes on and we can now turn our attention to um, the arable side of things with the harvest that's up to come and we'll get that all sorted out. What we'll do now though is we'll jump into our uh, JCB, we'll put the mug forks, forks on and then we can uh, get that passage mucked out whilst we've got the trailer all hooked up I guess. Uh, I'm going to put these right down the bottom here, out of the way. That's excellent. the corner we go. Perfect. So we will get this mucked out. Shouldn't take us too long. It's only going to be about a one, maybe two trailer loads in there. But like I said, rather kind of get this done now uh, so we don't really have to concern ourselves with it once we've started harvest. Uh, I don't want to have to get the trailers muddy and muck, full of muck again, have to wash them out. Uh, but not to worry, there is actually still a, a bale in here um, that we were hoping to use but never got around to it. 
so with that kind of shunted out of the way a little bit, we'll open up our open up our muck grab and let's see what trouble we can get ourselves into. There isn't as much in here as part one would have thought. Cut that bit out. No! Run over my cow! Have yet to move the JC, the John Deere actually. So we will move this John Deere and we'll get this all kind of buttoned up and see how it looks. But at this stage I would just like to thank each and every one of you for sticking with us through this journey so far. Uh, I hope you do enjoy. If you have enjoyed this episode of A Dairy Man's Diary, don't forget to hit that like button and if you are new to the family, first of all a huge welcome and secondly don't forget to hit that subscribe to Simulation for the Nation. I gather he's doing, he's having a lovely time over there and he's very very pleased with how his channel is growing, which is fantastic news. Uh, but what we will do, we're going to get this uh, loaded up here, and uh, we might take a little bit of time off actually, uh, just have some quiet time before harvest comes. Everything is ready to go, we're ready to go, all we can do is wait, um, and it shouldn't take us too long. So until we see you again, when we'll be sat um, in the driving seat of the lovely Fort Street Combine, uh, we will... We will see you in the next episode, so until then, do stay safe, enjoy what you're doing as always, but most importantly, happy farming.